Hello, welcome to another After Effects video. So, let's just, uh, we've got this arrow, which is lasting five seconds long. And what we're going to do is we're going to start at zero and go to 100. Now what I'd like to do is overshoot it a little bit. So to do overshooting is we go into the graph editor with Shift F3. You can see we're going to get this. And there's actually like different ways to change the keyframes. Like, for instance, if we press, you see it says a linear keyframe. See it's a linear keyframe. If we actually just press Control on it, it turns it into an auto bezier. Which is kind of cool. Uh, so we just turn it to Auto Bezier and then press Shift F3. And now you can see we've got the handles. So what we could do with the handles is you can actually uh, make it go above 100. You can see that this point is at 100. So let's see if we can get it over 100. So that is just going to put it over 100, right? So what this does is if you look at what happens at the end, it overextends the size and then it goes back down. So that's overshooting, and that's something which is like very important in animation to overshoot. You can see the numbers as well, of course. And we can change that. And there's different things as well, like shift. Oh, like you press alt. You press alt and click on it, you can see it's going to convert it back. Uh, the best way to see that is if you just go out of it again. You can see now it's back to a linear one. Let's go back in. Let's shift again. Shift F3. Okay, linear. Okay, so it's a linear keyframe now. Let's just make sure we can do this. Now we're going to press Alt on it. And then we're going to go back out. Now you can see it's a, a bezier. So essentially, what you have to do is, yeah. All right, let's go back to this, and we'll just uh, we'll do what we were just doing a minute ago. Make it overshoot a bit. Uh, you've also got the option to do easy ease here. There you can make it easy ease. Um, if you want to also, if you click on the thing twice, it will select the keyframes and then you can actually change them to linear. Uh, I'm not going to talk about hold yet, but, and there's a, there's a bunch of different things here as well. You can choose. All right, let's maybe do rotation as well. So should we do the same sort of thing? Yeah, we'll do rotation. And then we're not gonna, I'm not, again, I'm not gonna worry. Oh, you know what, maybe I will just do it. I'll go page down here. We'll take, well, the way I should really have done it was, uh, what was it, I go end and then page down. And then we do minus one on this, right? Let's have a look. Pretty up if that was zero. Let's just have a look. Okay, no problem. So let's go Shift F3, take a look at this one. So again, you can see, so you can see we've got a rotation here. So what if we wanted it to overshoot the rotation? Uh, it, should, it actually shouldn't, you know what, funnily enough, by doing the page down thing, it actually, this is a, a scenario where it doesn't work. Normally it would work, right? If you were doing a loop, but if you're not doing a loop, it will just, it will just end at six. <laughs> Oops. All right, let's not do that then. Let's change that back. Um, so we're just going to make sure that the very last frame this time is the minus one. There you go.
All right. Now, it's just in a previous video I did, I did something like that. All right. So if you wanted it to overshoot, you wanted to go a bit further. Again, what we can do is we've got a linear keyframe here. So we're going to control click. Uh, no, we're not. So we've got a linear keyframe here. We're going to alt click, change it to a Bezier. And we're going to go. Uh, interestingly, I guess it's like in this case, we have to go below 360, right? So say we just make sure that the uh, trough of the curve is at 400 there, minus 400 even. So we take a look how that's going to look. So we go a little bit too far, and then it, it resets itself. That's probably actually too far. And I think uh, let's try doing. Uh, Yeah, I think if you did ease, easing in there and then you pull it down a bit, that's probably the way to do it. Yeah, it's a little bit cleaner there, if you look at it that way. Uh, it's not doing real time. I need to do the RAM preview thing. But anyway, uh, so there is that. And yeah, so that is uh, uh, how to use the graph editor. There's a couple of things in the graph editor. Um. But yeah, we're going to be looking more at the graph editor. I want to look at hold keyframes as well. And we will get onto that uh, fairly soon. So thanks for watching.